Hello, React Native Developers. I hope you are well. William here, recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. Two weeks ago, Reanimated 2 Alpha 5 was released, and it contains a couple of very interesting features. First of all, Renan Machado contributed awesome TypeScript type definitions for the Reanimated 2 API. So in Alpha 4, we could finally use TypeScript to write our animation worklets, and now we have nice types for the uh, API itself. These types are still in the process of being refined, and you can use the latest version of the TypeScript definition via patch package, link in the video description. And there are two new interesting functions, scroll to and measure, which allows us to respectively scroll a scroll view and measure the size of a view from the UI thread. I often use on layout when working with elements which have a dynamic size, thereby breaking my first React Native animation principle, which is to not cross the bridge between the UI and the JavaScript thread. And thanks to the new measure function, we won't have to do that anymore. And I have the perfect demo to showcase the new measure function. Couple of months ago, we've built an accordion user interaction in React Native, and this user interaction relied on us knowing in advance the height we needed to expand to. And you have been many asking me, can we do it with a dynamic size? And the measure function is going to allow us to do exactly that. We are going to build this animation in two steps. First, we're going to recreate the original animation in Reanimated 2, knowing in advance the height we need to expand to. And then we're going to introduce the measure function to work with any dynamic size. Let's have a look. Guys, before we jump into the code, if you're interested to learn the fundamentals of gestures and animations in React Native, I hope that you will check out my online course at startreactnative.dev. My goal with this course is to provide you with all the tools and knowledge necessary in order to build incredible user interactions that will run at 60 FPS, even on low-end devices. And we're currently updating the Reanimated 2 course. There are new exciting lessons coming up this week. So if you're interested to learn the fundamentals, I hope that you will check it out at startreactnative.dev. We are into the code now, and we have the list component, which, is, which has a state, which is open like this or closed. If it's open, we expand the height is the height of one item times the number of items. If not, the height is zero. So you see here the height of the children here is zero. And then we, if it's closed, we want the bottom left and bottom right radius to be at 8 pixels. If it's open, we want the radius to be at 0. So you see here it looks there is no border radius. So we're going to do this in two steps. First, we're going to recreate the original animation with Reanimated 2. And then, so here, knowing statically the size of the item, and then we're going to use a new measure function to dynamically calculate uh, to which height we need to expand. And actually here we're using a really nice trick. So items as an overflow hidden. If the size of this view is at zero, we can try to measure the children. It always will be at zero if the size at one point. Because we have the overflow hidden, if we ask to measure the uh, size of the children items, we will get the full size. So we will know to which height we need to expand to. And if you are a subscriber of the channel, we know already, you know already how we're going to build the animation. We're going to attach a transition to changes of the state open. And then something we might want to look at is to remove the state open altogether. Here, we don't need on the JavaScript side to know if the um, list is open or not. So we might create an animation value and transition from this animation value. But here we're going to transition from a state in React. So again, we can transition from changes of animation values of our React state. And here we transition on a React state change. 
So we are going to have a variable called transition. And we're going to use use timing on open. And use timing is from comes from animation helpers, which uh, are the functions that will be supported in the version of Redash that will support uh, reanimated queue. And here, we are not going to use Spring, and I'm going to show you a bit later why. Because if we spring from zero to height, here for zero, we would have negative values because of the bouncing effect. And we don't want negative heights. For that, there is overshoot clamping that you can use in the Spring configuration. But there is currently in Reanimated 2 a bug with overshoot clamping, which is currently being fixed. And so here we cannot use it, so we're going to use uh, use timing instead. So we have our transition. And here we're going to use the transition to go from this height to zero. So this style becomes a use animated style. So let me wrap it. Use animated style, perfect. And here we're going to use a mix on transition dot value. If it's zero, it's zero. If not, it's a full height. And this one becomes an animated view. So it seems to animate nicely. And now we can also animate the chevron. And for that, here, instead of passing open, we're going to pass a transition. So here it's an animated shared value. So we have transition here. This one becomes an animated view. And here, this is use animated style. And so here again, we use mix to go to these values. Uh, so probably mix transition so mix is a linear interpolation from 0 to 1 so transition dot value and math pi 0 let me import this function so it animates nicely and now so this is step 1 we've recreated the original animation and you see it's going to be way more fun with a spring spring function here it feels uh, not so dynamic not so cool feels a bit stiff um, but so if I go back to the list so here now we want to have any size here so we're going to create a shared value where we're going to store the result of measure so height is use shared value and we're going to use zero. And when we press, if the value of height is zero, we want to measure it. So if height.value equals zero, we want to run on the UI thread. the measure function. We need the reference of the view we want to measure. So here we have, this is the view we want to measure, right? So, um, I don't know, maybe I call it list. And here also there's a new hook. 
which is called Use Animated Ref. And so on the UI thread, and so I want to invoke this function. And I think I need to use the worklet directive. I'm not sure actually if it's mandatory or not. We check. So if, oh yeah, okay, if height value equals zero, we, so height, height dot value equals measure of the ref uh, times height, uh, dot height. Um, uh, a ref for animated ref. That's the uh, name they use in the reanimated two documentation. So let me do that. So now here we can simply do. So we need a minimum size of one. If it's zero, when the view is closed, the sub, the children will be at height zero. So we need at least always one pixel, and then we can do transition dot value times height dot value. So if transition is one, and so you see, let me reload just to make sure we have the fresh version. So you see here, we don't know about the size of the items. We just rely on the result of the measure function. And so you see, you might not see here also because of the contrast. Maybe if I put, um, let me put a black background. So because of this one pixel, this one point, sorry, you see it here. You see now, so this one we need to hide. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to add an opacity here. So opacity, if transition dot value equals zero, we have an opacity of zero. If not, we have an opacity of one. And so now it disappeared. And so it looks pretty cool. And one thing we can do if you want is to remove the state from React. So we could do open is use shared value uh, false. And so now we're going to transition on the animation value, not a state. So here we set open.value equals the opposite. And now here, let me use. So here, what we want to do is to use, use spring with overshoot clamping uh, true. So we don't have height, which is a negative value, but we cannot do it in this version of reanimated to alpha. So what we're going to do is use derived value. So if open dot value is one, then we can spring because here we can overshoot. It's going to actually we want to overshoot because it's going to be uh, create this dynamic effect. So we're going to use with spring to one. And if not, we use with timing to zero. Um, sorry, so true. something like this. So yeah, you see, I mean, much more dynamic and then the timing is a bit stiff, but that's okay. A few moments later. Open is now an animation value, not a state anymore. So this becomes uh, use animated style. So here this becomes an animated view. And 
and um, okay. Here, I think what we want is if transition dot value equals zero, we want eight. If not, we want zero. Uh, equals force. No, equals zero. No. Yeah. Looks good. Perfect. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And with the rebound, I like it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this example. Measure is enabling us to directly measure the size of any element directly from the UI thread. And this is gonna enable a lot of React Native user interactions to be completely seamless. I used to rely previously a lot on on layout and thereby uh, crossing the bridge between the JavaScript thread and the UI thread. And thanks to Measure, we don't have to do this anymore. We are meeting again this week for the continuation of the React Native fashion series. So I am looking forward to talk to you soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking.